So if you've been shopping for a mattress online at all, there's a really good chance you've at least heard of Purple. But what's the big deal about Purple? Well, you clicked on the right video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, and in today's video we have our review of the original Purple mattress, the one that started it all. So there's a lot of unique things about Purple, which we will be talking about in today's video, including its construction, how firm it is, how much it costs, and who I think should ultimately think about getting the Purple mattress. If you find this video helpful or interesting, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel, and we'll have a lot more information down below in the description, reviews of Purple, comparisons to other mattresses, best lists, and any discounts we can find to help save you some money on this mattress. Let's just get into the video by covering the policies you should expect if you purchase a purple mattress. This is stuff like shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties. You shouldn't pay anything extra for shipping if you get a purple mattress. I don't know whether or not they ship in bags or boxes these days. It doesn't really matter. The process is essentially the same. You just bring it inside, open it up, rip off the plastic, and watch your new mattress inflate before your eyes. We have done it tons and tons of times over here, and it's still kind of fun to watch a mattress go from this plastic rolled up thing to a full-size bed in a matter of seconds. I do recommend having a friend there to help you out because the beds can get kind of heavy and unwieldy and the purple mattress in particular, because of its special material, which we'll talk about later, gets pretty heavy despite it not using any coils. Once the mattress arrives at your door, when your trial period kicks in, purple gives you the standard 100 nights, so a little bit over three months to sleep on the bed at home to decide if you like it and you want to keep it. If you decide that you don't, for whatever reason, you can return it within the trial window and get a full refund. However, should you keep the bed, Purple comes with a standard 10-year warranty. All of these policies from Purple are pretty much the minimum you should expect with any online mattress. So enough about all of that, let's get into the more interesting stuff now, like what is actually under the hood of the Purple mattress. So with the original Purple mattress, it uses a layer of dense support foam instead of coils. This is pretty standard for a lot of mattress brands' flagship bed. An all foam mattress keeps the price a little bit lower and it's not quite as bouncy and responsive as a coil bed, which some people actually prefer. Me personally, I prefer coils, but I can see why a lot of people would enjoy a foam mattress. But the real defining feature of the Purple mattress, which you're gonna find in all the beds from Purple, including the original, is their Gel Flex grid. Just by looking at this stuff, you can tell that it is extremely different than what you're gonna find in pretty much every other online mattress. It's not a foam, it's actually made of this material called hyperelastic polymer, which is very similar to what you might find in like a Dr. Scholl's shoe insole, but the size of an entire mattress. So this stuff is really squishy and stretchy and super responsive, and it gives the Purple Mattress a very unique feel. It's almost kind of hard to describe what a Purple Mattress feels like to lay down on because it's so unlike anything that you've probably tried in the past. So when you lay down on your back or your stomach on a Purple Mattress, since this stuff has such little surface area, yet it's still very supportive, it almost feels like you're floating on top of it, kind of like you're weightless, and it does very nicely conform to your body shape like a memory foam, but also really unlike a memory foam, because if you rotate between sleeping positions, it responds like that. And if you lay down on your side, it does a really nice job at really cradling those pressure points. A lot of people describe purple as kind of soft and firm at the same time, because of its adaptive quality, and I would generally agree with that statement. The only thing I would caution you about the feel of a Purple mattress is that it can be somewhat divisive, especially for couples. I've heard many a story of someone in a couple who really enjoys the feel of a Purple mattress, and then the other person doesn't really. It's a little too weird for them, and they want something more traditional, which does make some sense. So if you decide to pick up a Purple mattress for yourself, you really need to take full advantage of that trial period. It can take at least three to four weeks for your body to fully adjust to a new mattress. So if you get the Purple mattress and you think it's just a little weird, sleep on it for about a month, and then if you still think it's a little strange, then maybe it's time to return it. But the people who do sleep on a Purple mattress and like it, swear by it, they love it. I still sleep on a Purple mattress to this day. So I wouldn't necessarily describe the feel of the Purple mattress to be really accommodating because it can be kind of divisive. However, the firmness is very accommodating. It's around a medium on our firmness scale, which means it should be generally pretty accommodating for most sleepers, back, stomach, side, and combination. A medium firmness works especially well for combo sleepers because you're gonna be spending the night in multiple positions. It's nice to have something that works generally pretty well for all of them. I'm not gonna say a medium firmness is gonna be ideal for every sleeping position. If you are a strict back sleeper, there's a good chance you want something firmer, and then in that case, you might wanna try out the Purple Hybrid, which is closer to a medium firm. And then if you're looking for something softer, you have the Purple Plus, which is closer to a medium soft. And side sleepers in general are looking for a softer mattress. However, a medium works pretty well for everybody. 
even if it's not perfect. And then as far as couples go, as long as you can both agree on the feel of this bed, I think in a few other categories, you're gonna be just fine. The edge support on the original purples actually greatly improved over the years. The original, original purple model, which we had years ago, actually didn't have any foam reinforcement around the edges, so the edge support was actually pretty poor. However, on this version of the purple mattress, which has been around for a while now, the outer edges of the bed are actually extra reinforced with foam, so the edge support is solid. Not the best we've ever seen, but I don't think you're gonna have any issues. And for a bed this bouncy and responsive, the motion isolation is also pretty good. It's not gonna be as good as, say, a Nectar mattress, which is all foam and uses memory foam, but I don't think that's gonna be a deal breaker issue as well. Where this gel flex grid material really shines, though, is in temperature regulation. So we don't necessarily consider the purple mattress an active cooling bed. However, the purple beds are really fantastic at staying temperature neutral. If you look down at it, you can see that there's virtually no surface area on this gel flex grid, so it's a ton of room for airflow. And the material itself just doesn't really retain heat like some other foams can. I've slept on the Purple Hybrid Premier mattress through many a hot summer, and it does a pretty darn good job. So that's something you shouldn't really worry about on the Purple mattress. Let's move over to the subject of pricing. And one kind of unfortunate thing is that over the years, we have noticed Purple mattresses increasing their prices, although that is pretty much industry-wide, so I wouldn't necessarily blame Purple for it. It seems like everyone's increasing their prices over the years. And after discount, you should expect to pay around 1250 bucks for a queen size purple. Now this is more expensive than a lot of other mattress brands out there, especially one that uses foam for support as opposed to coils. But considering the unique nature of this mattress and that special top layer, I see it being a pretty solid value. Look down in the description for up-to-date pricing on the Purple Mattress and any discounts we can find. We should have a code down there for you. And one thing I do wanna mention is if you decide to purchase a mattress and use one of our discount codes, it actually helps us out quite a lot. So if you've been watching our videos for a while researching mattresses and you finally decide to pull the trigger on one, if you use one of our codes, we'd really appreciate it. And that leaves us with the question, who should think about getting the Purple Mattress? I see the Purple Mattress being a really nice option for someone who's maybe tried out some other mattresses in the past, but they just haven't found that perfect level of comfort that they're looking for. Maybe you've tried a memory foam bed in the past, maybe you tried something like a Casper or a Tufted Needle, and you're just looking for something more comfortable. I think the Purple Mattress might be a pretty good option for you. You can really try out that unique feel of the Purple Mattress, and you might love it and you might not, but that's the reason it comes to the trial period. And I think if you decide to get the Purple Mattress and you like it, it'll be a new level of comfort you haven't really experienced before. And it's gonna be pretty accommodating when it comes to firmness and the price point isn't out of control. But let us know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Purple's worth all the hype? Me personally, I think Purple is a very unique mattress brand that offers something that not really any other mattress brands do. So if you have any additional questions, put them in there in the comments as well. And don't forget to look down below in the description. We have a ton of information down there to help you with your mattress search. But that's pretty much it. This is Owen with Scene at Home. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.